All right, today I want to talk about The Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot. This is one of the most adventurous reads I have read in a very long time. I will definitely read this book again. It was just so much fun, such a delight. So if you've ever wondered, are we living in the Matrix? Well, this is the book that's going to help you explore that idea a little bit further. And just as the subtitle of the book says, the revolutionary theory of reality that explains the latest frontiers of physics, the paranormal abilities of the mind, and the unsolved riddles of brain and body. And it really does a thorough investigation of all of those topics. I think what's really interesting about this book is that it's not just, you know, somebody's ideas. There's a lot of, you know, texts that are sort of esoteric that, you know, may be written by someone with, you know, their own unique spiritual wisdom. But Michael is taking a very, very scientific uh, approach to this work and that um, it's incredibly documented uh, in terms of sources and research. And so that is, for me, is what made this really fascinating because I love science and I love physics. I'll say in the beginning of the book, I struggled a little bit because, you know, as you start out, if you're not used to reading a lot of like deep physics material, that can take a moment to kind of get adjusted to. But I will say I was able to use a little bit of chat GPT in terms of just asking questions to clarify some things, and that made it a lot easier. But as I got into a rhythm with the book, especially as I got into the second half of the book, I mean, it was just such a page turn. It was just so interesting, especially some of the paranormal concepts and how all of these things are sort of connected to the hologram. So I think that's the big idea in the book is that we we live in a hologram. We live in a matrix and sort of and the unified field is is a real thing and everything is is connected. And so he's really taking all of these various concepts and dissecting them in the lens of sort of the hologram and how that works. And so there's some really interesting theories, but I think when I zoom out even further on this book when you think about things, especially like paranormal activity, culturally, there's a lot of things where, you know, we grow up around whether that's, you know, good or bad. Is it scary or fearful or, or that sort of thing? And I think when you read this book, in a lot of ways, it eliminates a lot of that fear because Michael is giving you a structure from which to view this in a way that seems pretty pretty logical and credible as a way that all of those things may actually work. Uh, and it may not be actually what you think, which I think is just so interesting and, and very powerful uh, in this text. The other thing I love about this book is that the research that's presented here is not just, you know, some random, uh, you know, study or, you know, some sort of uh, disreputable research. A lot of the research that is covered in this book is coming from major universities, well-known universities, Ivy League universities. And I think that's what also just makes this pretty compelling in that uh, when you think about this sort of exploration of consciousness and reality and paranormal activity, people tend to, especially in you know TV and, and other academic resources, sort of discredit this work and say, well, there's no evidence or there's no um, there's no scientific studies or no one's been able to prove any of that. But I think once you actually read this text, the evidence is actually pretty compelling. And I think he lines up all the studies and the sources here incredibly well. And just the fact that there actually are a number of researchers and professors from a number of well-known universities over the course of, of you know many decades that have been researching this, uh, I think does you know add some... Uh, credence to, to the work and to the text overall. Finally, one last thought I'll share is that, you know, I'm in the process of also reading Robert Monroe's books on journeys out of the body, far journeys, and I think The Ultimate Journey is, is the last book. I found that I think this book is probably going to be a really good primer to the other books because I've started Far Out, or not Far Out Journeys, I've started um, Journeys Out of the Body from Robert Monroe, and I'm only maybe about halfway through that text and going through all of his experiences. But I love now that I've actually read The Holographic Universe first because I think it does provide sort of a scaffold or framework um, from which I could possibly view some of his work. So I think it's going to be really helpful as I start to dissect some of those other texts from his. So anyway, I absolutely love The Holographic Universe. Definitely recommend it. I'm certainly going to read this again because this is a text that is absolutely 
worthy of a second, third, and fourth read. There's so much to unpack here. There's tons of books that are referenced uh, in this text as well. I think I've put all of them on my book list, so I'll, I'll probably get to them at some point in time uh, too. So again, highly recommend, and thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.